everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda Beauties. Today I'm going to be creating this faux wrought iron tray using all Dollar Tree items. So if you want to see how I put this together, then please keep watching. But before that we get started, I'm just going to ask if you can please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also if you'll click that bell icon, you know, right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. As always, I'll be starting off by showing you the items that I used. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using three of the 11 by 14 photo frames, two display easels, two garden fences, some spray paint in the color white, and also this chalk paint. I use this because this is the only black spray paint that I had on hand. This is the only thing that is not from Dollar Tree, but I decided to use this contact paper that looks like whitewash wood. Dollar Tree does carry some contact paper that looks like wood, but I really liked this one. I purchased it on Amazon, so if you're interested, I'll go ahead and link it down below. Okay, so the first thing that I did is remove all the wrapping and the backing and the glass from the frames until I only had the frames left. Next, I removed all the metal holders from only two of the picture frames. Okay, so this is the only picture frame that has the metal holders and what I'm going to do with this one is place it at the very bottom with the metals facing down. And then I'm going to stack the other two of the frames on top of it with all front sides facing up. But first I'm going to add super glue to each frame. Using super glue will give you a permanent hold, but not just that, it also gives you the flexibility to move the frames so they can be set just right and not be out of place. If you use hot glue, you do run into the chance of them sticking together wrongly and then you can't undo it. Next, I'm going to add some painter's tape just to give the glue time to harden. I did have some glue seep out, so I did have to wipe it down. Okay, so after that I was done with the frame, I did set it aside for a few hours just to give some time for the glue to harden. And then afterwards, I removed the painter's tape and I took it outside to spray paint it with the white spray paint. Next, I moved on to the garden fence and I needed to cut what I was going to use. And so here I placed the garden fence over one of the backboards from the picture frames that I will be using. And then I marked off where I was going to cut using a white marker. And I repeated the same step to the other garden fence because I was going to need two of those. Next, I took my scissors and I cut off what I needed for my garden fence. And here's how the piece looks once it's cut and I'll be placing it on the backboard this way. Okay, so now that I have both pieces cut, I'm going to take it outside to go spray paint it with the black chalk paint. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is cut a piece of that contact paper and this is going to cover one side of the backboard. Okay, so now that I have the piece cut, I'm going to go ahead and apply it onto the backboard. And then I'm just going to fold the overhang on the back side. Okay. 
And once that's done, I'm gonna flip it over and this is what the front side looks like now. Okay, so now with the easels, I'm gonna create handles with them. So what I'm gonna do is use my wire cutters to cut the piece that I'm needing. And this is the part that I'm gonna be using as a handle. I cut the other easel as well, and now I have the two handles that I need. Okay, so next I'm gonna be adding the handles to the frame, and I'm gonna be using some of that fix-all adhesive to glue them onto the picture frames. So once I add the glue to the end of the handle, I'm gonna slip it in between the first two picture frames. And that way they're gonna be sandwiched between the two frames. Next, I added some painter's tape to give the glue time to harden. And I put the tray aside for 24 hours. And here I just want you to see how the ends of the handle are between the two frames. Okay, so 24 hours later, I just want you to see how my handles are nicely glued onto my frame. Okay, now lastly, what I'm gonna do is hot glue my piece of garden fence onto my backboard. And I'm just gonna make sure that they are exactly where I need them to be before I start hot gluing it down. I needed to make sure that it wouldn't move, so that's why I was holding it down with one hand and applying the glue with the other. And this is how my backboard looks now. Okay, so now it was time to add the glass and the backboard. So what I did is turn my frame upside down and then I added the glass and then I added my backboard. And then I bent the metal holders down onto the backboard. Due to the thickness of the garden fence, there was a small gap all the way around, but what I did is I filled it up with hot glue all the way around. And this is how my serving tray turned out with the faux wrought iron. Well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. And now, moving on to my next project. Bye-bye and God bless.